Hello, this is Candace with MySpockLife.com. Thank you for joining our Good Book series. Today's Good Book is How to Make Love Like a Porn Star by Jenna Jameson. I picked up this book because it was written with Neil Strauss. I have read other books of his and I was really impressed with his writing and with the honesty of the stories that he told. I want to be able to relate to people who are not like me. I want to know their stories. So reading about the life of Jenna Jameson and her time in the industry and growing up was very enlightening for me. I am sure I've met many girls who were like her, but because I had no concept of the life that they lived, I've never engaged in conversation. There's no wisdom that they were able to impart to me or that I gained from them. As I travel, I find it is very important to be able to know about other people. Jenna Jameson had an incredibly rough life and she made some terrible decisions. But in my opinion, what can you expect from somebody who raised herself and she had no upstanding role models? I am glad that she did have enough sense that when she was in the industry, she treated it as a business and she became what is known as a household name. Now, not in my house because I don't watch porn, but for everyone who criticizes her work or maybe what she did in her past, hey, maybe it's happening in your house that someone is watching porn because otherwise, how would she be a household name? I don't criticize what she's done. I just want to understand because she did have a lot of misfunction, dysfunction in her life. And she did have a lot of abuse in her life. So to be able to retire a rich woman, no matter what she did, and in order to try and get help for herself, I do commend that. Now, she did say that if you want to get into the sex industry business, then you should tell your family. I understand where she's coming from, but it was, of course, surprising to me that her brother and her father both supported her decision. She said you should tell them because you don't want them to be surprised when they find out what you do. And I guess that's when they're watching porn or something. So the book was quite enlightening and I recommend it as a read for people who feel like this doesn't exist in life and that life is picket fences and roses and neat little houses, but it's not. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe.